All right, good morning, guys, or actually good afternoon, I should say. Uh, we're going to get started here in just a moment, getting everything set up. Hopefully you guys are doing all right, and this is reaching all the necessary people. Please, if you can, share this so that um, we can get more range um, out of this post. Uh, we'll get started in just a moment. So what you're going to need for this is going to be a stick. Um, it can be roughly the size of a Kali stick, which is, you know, a machete link stick, or even this right here is around 36 inches. This can work as well. So we're thinking about machete, saber, link uh, weapons, all right? So give me a moment. We're going to go ahead and get started in just a sec, all right? <clears throat> light from the back. There we go. All right. Awesome. We'll give people a few more minutes. What's going on, Jean-Michel? We're going to get started in just a moment. Let's get some music keyed up here. And Give me a thumbs up for the six people who are watching. Let me know that you're that you are ready to go. All right. So music-wise, what we're gonna go with is uh, some uh, just some Haitian drumming, just to kind of set the mood. Um, uh, we're going to be studying or kind of exploring uh, stick fighting, uh, tir bois or, or uh, baton, Haitian or Haitian baton. Um, so stick, stick and uh, machete go hand in hand. So what I do with the stick, I can also can uh, change the machete out. But we're going to be focusing primarily on the function of the stick. Um, one of the older forms of uh, stick fighting practice in Haiti was uh, Masundi. Um, also, it was a variation of the larger uh, practice of Kalinda. Um, we're still kind of learning a little bit more about that. But uh, there was an ethnographer uh, by the name of Harold Cor uh, Corlander who documented uh, Masundi as it was practiced in Haiti when he was there. Um, which uh, is interesting, he described it uh, definitely the fighters is holding their weapons, their sticks like sabers, like swords, and they would do like a, um, there was, he described it as like there was six, six um, uh, dancers, six men, and it was a seventh one that was uh, controlling the, uh, kind of like leading it. So uh, he would blow a whistle and then the guys would arrange themselves in a line facing each other. And then they would do this uh, drill, well, they would do a, a form of fighting or a drill, what we call in my school, one for one, where they would, one person would attack, the other person would defend, and they would kind of go back and forth in these lines. Uh, when the leader would blow the whistle again, the guys would jump into the air and they would turn, and when one side, when they landed, one person would strike, the other person would defend, they'd jump up in the air, turn, and they would kind of do this this exchange back and forth. So that was like um, Masunde um, in Haiti. And this, I'm not sure of Corlander's, uh, which, time period this was when he was um, uh, visited Haiti. It had to be in the early 20th century, I believe. So I could be wrong on that. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to play a little bit of drumming. And um, like always, want to give respect um, as far as these fighting arts that we've been discovering to uh, Central Africa. There's not enough um, uh, focus and attention that goes to that region. And just kind of understanding that, you know, although West Africa has a very, very rich um, warrior military tradition, uh, Central Africa really, really laid the foundation for these fighting arts that um, that we are are have the benefit of uh, experiencing and and working with. So, just kind of wanted to shout out and give respect to to uh, the Congo and to Central Africa. At the same time, I want to say that. Um, I'm not a expert or a master in this system. This is one of the systems or one of the things that I, I train and I have an interest in. Um, there's always people that know more and have more information. So 
just to kind of also pay respect for those people who um, have been playing and living in that community for much longer than I've been experiencing things. So anyways, let's go ahead and get it started. Music is going to go. Uh, we're going to warm up and then get into some basic movements. All right. Here we go. This should be good. Nice and steady. <laughs> Okay, let's warm up. <clears throat> All right. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. One more adjustment. All right. Okay, here, let's just move the feet. Side to side. Okay, boy, cool go. Let's Keep go. moving. Keep moving. So what I'm doing is just gonna circle, get my wrist loose. And so I'm here, all I'm doing is stepping from side to side and circling my wrist. Now in front. And then forward. So the stick is coming forward. Good. Switching hands. Bring it forward. Keep moving. We'll change the lighting a little bit. Here we go. Keep it moving. Awesome. Other side. Circling. Doing crazy stuff for me. I didn't expect him to talk so much. This drum. Okay, so that's when you have. Hang on. One, two, three, one, one, zappa. This is actually a good video for Congolese style drumming. All right. Circle. Big circles. Big circle. So without the fear, that's how it sounds. Three, you're killing me, man. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switching hands, so still making that circle in front. One, two. Five, we're gonna play the six, table, you know, seven, you're gonna try to eight, the other side, nine, and ten. Going back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Here, up top, make circles above. We're still just warming up our wrists. Two, three, four, five. All the directions. One, two, three, four, and five. Switching hands. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead now. Yes, uh, Jean Michel, send it to me if you can't mind. Would love to do that. Okay. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and go into just kind of just the basic form of these strikes, okay? So we're just gonna go through basic angles of attack. And I actually think I'm gonna change my position here so there's less sun in y'all's face and you can see me a little better, all right? Let's see. Damn, that's much better. Man. All right. 
just get a little more height here. All right, there we go. Much better, guys. All right. <clears throat> Hang on one second. Love this music, but the guy is talking a little too much. Let's see what happens here. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let's start now. This is an open stance. Just work on these strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switching hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Horizontal strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Switching hands. One. Awesome vertical coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching hands. One. Awesome here. <clears throat> cool. So, going ahead, we're going to do a forward movement. Everyone's right. One, forward movement. Two, and back. One, two. So, diagonal. One, two, back. One, two. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Rise. One, two, stepping back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and it horizontal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once again, horizontal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it vertical. Right. Again, moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good. Now, overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Now when we step, we're going to step to the side, one, and then we're going to come back, two, okay? So here's my center line. I'm going to step not straight forward, but I'm going to step off to the side, one, and I'll come right back in, two. I'm going to come more to the side here, ready? And one, two, one, two, So make sure you're stepping past that line. One, two, one, two. Good. Here's the count. One, 
two, three. Step up a little more for me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Nine. And ten. Boom. Very good. So now when I step, boom, I'm going to take another step. Boom. You see how I'm turning, okay? So I step off. One, boom, two. You can see how I'm turning and facing this way, okay? So here we go. Step one. You're going to pivot. Two, okay? Once again, here we go, that side's back, we step, one, boom, two, good, <clears throat> once again, side back, step, one, two, good, <clears throat> again, and one, two, very good, and that's four, so step off, one, there's my strike, two, there's my strike, okay? And five. So I'll begin to start walking completely around now. Boom. Then I, from here, I'll start again. I step off to the side. Turn. Good. I step off to the side. Turn. Okay, just try that now. So where we are here, the angle is down a bit. You guys can see. Here's my center line where the stick is, right? So I'm here, I step off, one, and then I step here, two. So I'll put this stick down, you guys can see where I end up. So I'm here, right? I step off, one, step again, two. All right, I step, one, pivot, two. Again, I step off, one, boom, two, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk in a circle, all right? Together, you can use your strikes or you can just use your hands, whichever. If you need a stick to kind of serve as a, a focal point, you can. So, ready? We're gonna walk the circle, guys. So I'm here, my right side is back, my dominant side is back, and I step to the side, I strike, I step again, I turn, and I strike with my backhand. I step across, strike, step again, pivot, strike, okay? I step across, strike, step again, strike, okay? All right, let's do that around the circle, okay? <clears throat> okay, right side back or dominant side back, and we step. One, boom, again, two, Boom, and three, boom, so good. So you see how this footwork favors this opening and this closing, right? So we're right now doing these high diagonal strikes, open and closing, right? You can um, use the same concept to do different strikes, okay? So if we're here, and say if I wanted to strike for a low strike, I can work the same concept there. There's low strike, there's another low strike, okay? Even if I say, okay, thrust and low, okay? So it's the same concept. Let's go back around. Ready. Here we are. So try to add in different strikes to it, okay, that, that are either open and closing with your footwork. So one, that's a horizontal for me. Two, I did an upward diagonal here. One, diagonal, boom, another diagonal. Here we go. Once again, I went low cut, high cut. Okay, keep walking. Ready? <clears throat> Moving around. So, one, two, one, two, and again, one, and two. Very good. Awesome. Bring it back to the center now, okay, guys? 
So what we're going to do from our, our dominant side back is we're going to do strikes moving forward with this side back, okay? Strikes moving backwards with our dominant side back, okay? This is going to be just a shuffle, all right? So I'm here, and you guys can do create your own combination as you do this. So you can go highs, horizontals, lows, and back. Okay, so basically you have all your basic strikes that you can do, but you're doing them from across your body, okay? So you're gonna move forward doing, creating your own combination and moving back, creating your own combination, okay? Let me turn this way to show you the same thing. Okay, so here I am, my dominant side is back, and then so I'm gonna do shuffling forward, shuffling back and coordinating my strikes as I do this, okay? So I'm here, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So our space is different, so I'm gonna just count to 10. So you advance as far as you can advance and then retreat as far as you can retreat on my 10 count, okay? Here we are, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten again one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten again one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten very good let me change the song okay all right <clears throat> so here we are so now Take this foot, we're gonna go ahead and take a forward pass now. Same concept, we're gonna do shuffles and strike as we move forward, strike as we move back, okay? Hand position, right? So in this system, the hand is not usually tucked back like you'll see in tiramisu. The hand kind of floats and they do different things with the hand. So you'll see my hand kind of moving and sometimes what they'll do is they'll hold a guard like this where, you know, it's almost as if I'm baiting you to come and take the hand. Other guards are just kind of these interesting positions that they take, they put the bodies in, but the hands are moving or kind of, you know, flowing with the movement, okay? So it's not necessarily st stuck here or tacked behind like if we were doing tear machete, okay? It kind of flows. Just make sure be aware that your hand needs to move, okay? <clears throat> All right, here we are. Dominant side forward, and we're just working on Simply doing those strikes as we move forward and then back. Ba, 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 ba. Very common stroke is this that vertical coming up, bam, and then this one, bam, bang, 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 bang. Perfect. Couple more. guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna key off this vertical strike this is real common stroke you'll see this guy here we call this in math lag lahia it's the same thing let's get that vertical in vertical and see what you can build off of it vertical boom vertical strike bam vertical bam. vertical bam good vertical strike bam Vertical. Bam. Couple more. Good. Create your own combination. So I'm basically leading with this vertical strike, and then I'm adding in another strike to it, okay? Let me see. More instruction. Okay. Here we go. Once again. So vertical. See what you can flow from here. Two. Vertical. Vertical strike. Bam. Vertical strike. See what you can get in there. Good. Boom. Rise up. Vertical strike. And then see what flows from there. Okay? Couple more. Let's get a 10 in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Very good. <clears throat> so now, same concept. This time we're gonna do this overhead strike. This is another very common blow, is this overhead that comes from this open position here. Very similar to what they call a redondo and a Kali and a screamo, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna do this strike, same thing, and see what strikes we can flow there from there, all right? So we're in our guard and overhead, and then attach a strike to it afterwards. This is gonna be create your own combination, okay? Boom, boom, ready? Overhead, and see what flows from there. Overhead, right back up, <clears throat> again. Overhead, diagonal, good. Overhead, boom, rising cut. Overhead, backhand diagonal. Overhead, and then double up on it. Overhead, rising cut, and again, overhead, boom. Good, let's go ahead and get a count in on this, all right? <clears throat> Ready, and one. Go your overhead, get us a combination. And two. Ready, and three. Backhand diagonal. And forehand, cut. And overhead, rising diagonal. Ready, and again, overhead, rising diagonal. And overhead. There's my horizontal there. A couple more. Last one. Very good, very good. Feet apart. Awesome, awesome. Let's get back to that step, okay? Dominant side back. Again, step to the side. Then step back. Step to the side. Step back. Step to the side. Step back. And again, and back. Good, here, step, and pivot. Very good. Going back to starting position. Dominant side back. Step. One, two. Good. Come back. And again, step to dominant. Side forward, back. Now we're here. We're going to add a quick broken strike from this new position that we're in. Okay? So we'll do a full cut. A full cut to a quick broken stop chop or strike from here. Okay? Once again. <clears throat> so we step one, we strike, step again, two, and then a quick, wherever you want to go, just a quick strike from there. Okay? Then we'll step again. Okay, then we'll step again. Step again, so I do my full strike, I pivot, do my full strike, and then a quick, quick broken strike, okay? And again, I do my full strike, full strike, and then a quick broken strike from this position, okay? <clears throat> Same thing now, we move forward, we'll step, and then we'll strike, okay? Again, so it's one, two, Okay, going back, one, two. So I do a full strike, followed by a quicker, shorter, broken strike, okay? So you create your combination. So any, any opening movement with that step is fine. So I can do my horizontal, boom. I can do my diagonal, boom. I can do my rising diagonal. Okay, anything that's opening from this side you can do, and then a quick broken strike. Now anything from this closed position, I can do, okay? And then a quick broken strike, okay? So here we are, right side back. So we move forward. Again, any of those strikes you wanna do, full strike, and then a quick broken strike, okay? Step again, stepping straight forward, my full strike followed by a broken, quicker strike. 
Now for me, I'm moving back now. We'll go advance two steps and then retreat two steps. So now I move back. I do my strike and I do a broken strike, okay? Moving back again, strike, boom, broken. So from there, I just added a thrust. Again, moving forward, I'm gonna tag low, boom, and broken strike, full strike. Boom, there's the thrust, okay? Going back, I go low, broken strike, high. Okay, now I go horizontal, broken strike, high. Once again, okay, I'm gonna count. We'll do this for 10 times, all right? So one strike, one step, two strikes. Okay? So, bam, 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 bam. So ready, here we go, one, two, Back through, bam, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Awesome. Okay, let's get into now. Uh, to some defensive movements, okay? <clears throat> so, first guard, one of the guards they use is kind of like this forward guard position here where six is extended forward here, okay? Again, the hands will float and sometimes, a lot of times, we're crouched here, okay? So we're gonna do these circular, these uh, kind of these serpentine movements with the stick, okay? So one is what I call like a shimmering snake, okay? So we're gonna make the snake, the, the stick kind of go back and forth, okay? So I'm here, I sink it to my guard, and then I make this move, okay? So now common is cross-stepping. Yep, so we'll do this. So we're gonna get this, the, the stick moving, deep stance, and we're gonna step to the side and step to the other side, okay? Do it a couple times. <clears throat> Ready? And get into your stance. Again, here, hand can float, but we move, so this is shimmery. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, good, and ten. Awesome. So now from this shimmering motion, we're going to throw in some strikes, okay? So basically, the principle is the same. Open and close, okay? When my hand moves one way, my open strikes will flow a little easier. My hands on the other side, my closed strikes will flow a little easier, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'll count, you shimmer, and then you throw in your strikes, okay? I can't see you guys, so I'm assuming that you guys got what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying, okay? So first off, we'll just stay still, okay? Stay still, so I mean, I'm kind of adding a little bit of forward and backwards movement in this, boom, okay? So I'll count, and we'll do our strikes, and we'll just keep going, all right? So, Stationary, moving the stick in a shimmering fashion, and one, boom, strike, shimmer, two, shimmer, 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 three, boom, shimmer, 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 four, boom, five, boom, back to it, make it shimmer, six, Seven, boom. Ready, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good, so now we're gonna shimmer, moving from side to side, striking. Shimmer, boom, from side to side. So when I'm crossing, I'm actually, when I'm going this direction, I'm gonna cross my 
my my rear leg first. Okay, which is something something interesting that they do. So you'll notice I'll do this because it helps me. It's I'm a bit off balance, but it's a practice that they do. Um, you can also move the front leg first if you want, depending on what the um, situation is. So I would say explore both. All right. So here we are. Make the stick shimmer, and we're stepping. Okay. One. Shimmer, two, boom, shimmer, shimmer, three, boom, four, boom, five, boom, six, boom, seven, boom, eight, nine, Last one, and 10, boom, very good. Okay, same thing, same concept. Now we're gonna be moving kind of forward and back now, okay? <clears throat> so shimmer, we're moving back and forth. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Oh, very good. Awesome. <clears throat> so that's one kind of guard position is like I said, I call it the shimmering snake because that's what it reminds me of. And basically, the stick moves from side to side as you're trying to find and create an opening, okay? Um, the next motion is we're going to do this circular motion here, okay? Circular. Again, finding spots where you can circle and turn into attacks. So, common. Boom, okay? So, we're going to draw big circles. Big for now, and then find a place on that where you can attack off of. <clears throat> of course, I'm circling one direction. You can also circle the other direction, okay? So mix those two up. All right, so let's go through circle inside. But this is early for our warm up. Here's me circling to the inside, and then here's me circling to the outside, all right? Oh, and find those places where you can uh, defy expectations, all right? So here we are. And the stationary, we circle, so one, find a place to attack. Two, boom, find a place to attack. Ready, and three, four, five, six, taking it easy, seven, Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Very good. Okay, so now, same thing. We circle, and we're going to move side to side. Okay, circling, and moving side to side. Okay, again, the hand floats. Okay, all right, ready? Hang on. Going back to some more drumming. Okay. Here we are. Moving side to side. Circle. There we go. Get a good circle. So these crossing movements that I was showing earlier. Circle. Ready. And one. Boom. Circle. Circle. Two. Boom. Circle. Circle three, boom. Circle, circle four, boom. Circle, circle, bam. Five, circle, circle. Six, bam, bam. Seven, bam, bam, bam. Eight, bam, bam, bam. Nine, bam, bam, bam. And ten, bang. 
Once again, one more set for this. Make sure that you're working on both directions when you're circling, okay? So here's me going to the inside, and then here's me going to the outside. So make sure you're working both of those. Again, we did the shimmering snake, and we did the circle, clockwise. This actually is clockwise, and then counterclockwise, all right? So now, our next circle is gonna come from back and forth. So this is where you get that, that, that overhead redondo style strike that comes real easily, and is used quite a bit. So here, we're gonna circle and hit, boom. So this here's more, I'm kind of, you know, baiting, inviting, um, insinuating that there is the strike, but then it comes somewhere else, all right? So here, we're going to from a stationary position. You can kind of rock in and out a little bit, okay? Circle, circle, and then throw your strikes. So whenever I want to go to the other side, a common thing is this type of what, in, in Colombia, which is called a turn where we rotate this down and we protect our head as we um, give our strikes. Uh, it's a good way to um, protect yourself and then chamber in a strike from the other direction, okay? As opposed to um, having to, to come into this position here where I'm kind of open, I can make it part of that movement that I'm doing. So I'm, my circle is coming mostly here, right? There's the in intent that, okay, I'm striking, move back a little bit, and here's my cover in case something comes, and then my other strike comes from behind it, okay? Um, and this works the same thing on the other side, all right? <clears throat> Anyhow, so we're gonna give that forward energy and then we're just gonna work on going somewhere else, okay? So we're forward, we're baiting, and make your circle small. Like I said, I'm trying to indicate maybe I'm gonna go for the arm, maybe I'm indicating I'm going for the head, and maybe I'm, you know, going for the legs, okay? But keep it, adjust the angle, adjust the size, I should say, of your circle, okay? Good. So now let's go ahead, we're gonna add our real strike to it. Boom, there's one, two, and play around, three, with the deception. So I'm doing these quick, these, these stomps to kind of provoke movement, and then this will come in uh, to take what's there, what's available. Okay, keep moving. That circle, we're still stationary. And six, sorry, that's more like five. Circle, circle, and six. Like I said, make your, imagine that you're trying to hit the hand or you're trying to invite or, or incite that I'm going to hit the hand. Sometimes maybe it's the head, boom, okay? Ready, here we are, seven. Bam, back to it, circle, eight. Nine, last one, and 10, very good. Now, same thing, this time again, we're moving to the sides, okay? We're moving to the sides. Even if I move to the side, yeah, boom, okay? So moving from side to side, from side to side, trying to find those parts to go in, okay? 
All right, ready? Let me check and see our time and how we're doing. Checking, checking, checking. Awesome. Hang on one sec. Pause for a moment, guys. I'm going to try to find this playlist real quick. Thank you, Remy. Uh, let me know if you're still in here. Give me a thumbs up or a heart or something. You guys have any questions before we continue? I think this might be it. We'll see. Let's see here. Okay, this looks good. Thank you, thank you, uh, Jean Michel. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, guys, let's continue. <clears throat> All right. So, circles. Move into the side. And then find your spot. One. Two, and three. And you see how sometimes to get myself back into that close position, I'll go ahead and add a second strike. So if I go close, open, I may do, excuse me, uh, I'm opening myself. So I start from a close position, then I may do another strike to get myself back to that close position. That's okay. If you add a few more strikes to your combination, it's cool. Okay, so here, circling, circling. So here's, here's a close cut, then I do another strike to bring myself back into that alignment, all right? Here, boom, this one's up. Another strike to bring me back in here. Good, and boom, boom. Circle, circle, circle. There's a tricky one, I can transition across, strike from the other side, now I'm here. work on making those movements by turning my hip so I'm circling turn bam, and then I'm on the other side okay see how I do a quick turn now here I'm closed now I'm open okay so play around with that so that you don't get predictable and everything has to come from this closed position pivot your hips and you can even envision that that turn is a cut as well, okay? A couple more. Boom, boom, good. Back to it, back to it, back to it. And bam, bam, one more. Back to that circle. In, in, and ta, ta. Very good. Okay, same thing guys, now we're gonna do it kind of moving forward and back, okay? You can rock in, rock out, you can shift forward. But again, just imagine moving forward, I'm, I'm making you feel like I'm going to attack the hand or attack whatever is extended. Going back, I may be defending myself as I fade back, okay? So right now, we've been doing uh, very active style defenses which is, you know, cutting at the offending uh, target as opposed to doing some blocks. But we'll go into some blocks and parries in just a moment, all right? So here we are. So creating that circle as we move forward, move back, you can rock in. Make sure you're changing your levels too. A lot of this is done like low, crouched. Good, ready, hand, one, good. Two. Imagine you're, you know, your legs are a target, so you know, boom, add a little bit of that into it. Thank <laughs> you. 
couple more. So I'm, so I'm really now thinking like, okay, I'm making it feel like I'm trying to hit and not get hit, okay? Very good. So that's pretty much what you can um, work on as far as these kinetic style guards, okay? Now, stationary guard, fundamental guard, standing here. <clears throat> so, for this position, a lot of times, you'll notice the body will kind of close, will kind of close off here, okay? <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're going to protect up top, okay? Um, right now, I'm not moving the legs, but of course, we would move using that same that same uh, pivot step we did earlier for those strikes. Okay, but right now we're still stationary right here. We're going to defend against uh, overhead attacks. Okay, so I'm here. Your weight guys should be shifting. You should be prepared to be moving forward, to move back, to move to the side, to move to the other side. Okay, so don't get lead feet. All right, you're. Position is going to be shifting, okay? <clears throat> so here we are in our on guard fighting stance here. Hand is floating, and I just want you to boom, cover the head, boom, cover the head, okay? So we'll do 10 of those. Actually, what I'll do is I'll give you the attack. You guys will go ahead and work on those movements on your own, okay? So here we go. Phase one, I'm gonna attack the head. You just do one of those parries. Boom, one. Two, and just mind you, we're not doing our feet right now, okay? Here we are. Ready? And one. Boom. Ready? And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, and ten. Very good. So here, now, what we're going to do is we're going to defend against those shots, and then we're going to fire off. We'll do a combination of two or three, okay? Then sink back into it, okay? Other side, boom, defend, fire off, and be prepared. I'll pause in between my strikes and give you time to reset, okay? So basically, it's going to be parry and counter strike, return back to your guard. Okay, still no footwork right now. So here we are. So I'm tacking the top of the head and one, parry and encounter. Good, other side, two, bam, parry and counter. Very good, three, bam, parry and counter. And four, bam, good, five, ready, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Bam. Very good. Awesome, guys. So now, just to kind of shake it up, we're here. We're going to move now, okay? So when we go to this closed one here, we're going to step, yep. Yeah, and counter strike. Da, da. Okay, I'll give you a chance to reset. For this one here, boom. here and da, da. and then boom, we can finish. Okay, <clears throat> so we're doing the same thing on both sides. Okay, so I'm here. One, two, three. On the other side. I'm here, the other one comes in, I'm boom, I step, da, 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 da. okay? <clears throat> okay, so ready, get to the flank before you do your strike. Just work on getting there, okay? Here we go. So my first attack, um, I'm gonna do it with you guys, all right? So we're gonna do this closed one first, all right? So I'm here, I'm closed, I stepped across, my back leg steps, pivots, I do my full strikes, and then some broken strikes, 
and then I return back to where I'm at here. The second one comes in, I open, prepare, protect myself, and I step through that gate, yeah? And then pivot, strike, strike, strike. Good, okay, here we are. <clears throat> Once again, and step. One, two, three, four, four. Good, going to the other side. Right in here, and there. Pivot, protect, step, strike, strike, strike. Ready? Once more, then I'm gonna give you the attack, okay? So, here. Ready? And turn, turn, turn. Good, good. Now I'm going to attack. You're gonna do this motion, all right? So here we are, overhead. Remember, this side or that side. Ready? And boom, defend. You should be to my side now, imaginary, and doing cutting me up. Good. Other side. Bam. Boom, should move to the side, either side, cut me up. All right, here we go, pin three. Bam. Move to the side, cut me up. Ready, four, move to the side. Good, and cut me up. Ready, five, boom, move to the side. Awesome, six. And seven. Good. Ready? And eight. Good. Nine. Very good. Last one, guys. And ten. Boom. There you go. So there you see how we can start incorporating that, that transverse circular stepping, all right? But the first things would be is stationary and then simply you know, moving off, moving back, right? Moving back, then moving to the side. Yeah. Then moving to the side of the diagonal. Then moving to the side of the diagonal. And then the final step would be, boom, that full circle, okay? So that's the progression, how you can practice it. Stationary, then just simple, moving back and forth, back and forth, then straight to the side, boom, straight to the side, boom, then at an angle, bam. at an angle, bam. and then circle step, boom, or this way, boom. Circle step. Okay? Alright, going back to our defenses now. Okay, so that's the overhead is here, here. Okay. Um, another type of defense for the overhead, and we won't worry about it right now, is doing these squatting motions when it's coming in. It requires a lot more timing. Um, and of course, um, it takes a little more experience, but basically uh, you would intercept the overhead attack as you change your position. Um, but we won't worry about that right now. So going back to more of these static type parries. So we covered the top of the head, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover the sides of the head, all right? So when I attack the side of your head, you're going to just bring your machete stick up to cover that, okay? Put a little bit of something behind it so that it, it, it is a, a strong defense for you. Um, but again, a lot of this is going to be kind of hit and miss kind of movements or uh, yeah as opposed to stay stay still but it does happen okay so we're here and we deflect and we're gonna counter strike off of that okay again and deflect and again try to work in those those real common strikes that you know that's just observable in there even though you have ones that are probably maybe a little bit more natural and effective, okay? Let's get 10 in, and then I'll do where I'll give you the strikes, okay? So here we are, 10 together, and then the next round, I'm gonna give you the strikes. Here we go. So, one, 
deflect, and then count. Ready, two. Ready, three. Four. Five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. So I'm going to attack you to the side. You defend and then counter. Okay? Okay, ready? Here we are. And one. Side of the head. Deflect it. Counter. Strike. Okay? Ready. Two. Parry and counter. And three. Parry and counter. Four. Parry and counter. Five. Parry. Counter. Six. Good. Parry. Counter. Seven. Parry. Counter. Eight. Parry. Counter. Nine. Parry. Counter. Last one. And ten. Very good. Parry to strike and counter off of it. Very, very good. <clears throat> okay, so we've covered the head, top of the head. We've covered the side of the head. If I hit to the body, again, tip can go up. We change our levels, or tip can go down, okay? So when I go for the body, boom, deflect and counter. Deflect and counter, okay? Or move, boom, 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 and counter, okay? So those are your options. You can deflect or move. Boom. Move as I go for the, the cut to the body, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna attack you. You do defend your, your middle section, okay? Either one of those options is fine. Here we are. And one, I strike, so remember, you tip up, change your level, tip down, or you can just move and strike as you move, okay? Ready? And two. Bam. Good. Three. Bam. Good. Four. Bam. Five. Bam. Six. Bam. Keep moving. Seven. Bam. Eight. Nine. Last one. And 10. Very good, good. Okay, going for the legs. Same concept. I can move the leg and strike, right? I can meet it. Yes, down here. Or I can move and sweep it away, okay? Sweep it away. Good job. So option one is to avoid and hit. Boom. Okay, avoid and hit. Okay, avoid and hit. Or I can meet it, cross with it, okay? Cross, boom, boom. cross, boom, boom. Or as it's coming this direction, I avoid and I sweep it away and I hit, hit. It's coming to the outside, I avoid, I sweep it away and hit. Okay, three options, I'm cutting from the legs now, okay? <clears throat> Ready? And one, two, three. Four. Don't forget to count it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good, good. We're going to add another option to this, okay? So now, when the cut comes from the legs, I'm going to lift my leg over, okay? Or lift my leg over, okay? lift my leg over, okay? So add that to it. Lift your leg, lift your leg. If you end up in a different stance, you guys already know how to, you can still move out and strike from here, okay? Ready? So now add that to it. I'm cutting for your leg. Lift your leg and counter strikes, okay? Ready? And one, move your leg and counter. Two, boom. Don't forget, it's okay 
switch legs. Counter. Ready? Three. Counter. Four. Five. Six. Last one. That's not last one. Seven. I'm getting old. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very good. All right. So we've covered the top of the head, right? We've covered side of the head, side of the body, right? Boom, boom, move, boom, boom, boom. We've covered the leg, crossing, sweeping, moving, okay? Uh, the main thing is, as long as my hands align with my shoulder, I have maximum reach. As soon as my arm, my hand starts to drop past my shoulder, I lose range. So I have to compensate that for by changing levels. Either way, it gives me more time to read what my partner is doing. So any strikes that come to my lower portion, I don't necessarily have to meet them with force. I can, I can move them. I can move and hit, okay? <clears throat> okay, now diagonal strikes. We're going to just adjust this guy and angle it just a little bit. Angle it just a little bit, okay? All right, so when I go for the diagonal strike, boom, and counter, okay? Okay, ready, here we go, diagonal strikes, and one, boom, parry, and counter, ready? Two, parry, counter, three, parry, and counter, four, parry, counter, and five, Parry and counter six. Parry, counter seven. Parry, counter eight. Parry, make sure you counter nine. Parry, counter and ten. Parry counter. Again, versus those diagonals. We're gonna go ahead and get these hanging parries off of them. Okay. So when I come to this side, boom, hanging. Again, other side, boom, same thing, boom. I can get into the same type of footwork there, all right? So here we are, diagonal strikes. We're using these hanging guards, okay? Ready, and one, boom, deflect, counter. Two, bam, deflect, counter. Ready, and three, deflect, counter. Four, deflect, counter. Five, bam, deflect, counter. Six, Bang, deflect, counter, seven, bang, deflect, counter, eight, bang, deflect, counter, and nine, deflect, counter, and 10, deflect, and counter. So for thrusting, doom, for thrusting, we move our blades from side to side, okay? Let me see where we're at as far as time goes. All right, let's go ahead and um, wrap it up. For those of you that are still here. Okay, just so you guys know, tomorrow uh, we're going to be doing some follow-up lessons um, at 10 o'clock a.m. We're going to be doing a, um, a Capoeira class um, via Zoom. If you're interested, let me know. Um, I'll send you the link. And then at 6 p.m. Central Time, we're going to be doing another uh, stick and machete class um, as a follow-up uh, to this one here. So if you want to get some more time in, um, let me know, and I'll send you guys the Zoom link, all right? Uh, let me just check in with everybody. Cool. Um, is everybody doing okay? Any questions before um, we have to go? Again, this is not the Avril family system of Tier Machete. Um, which is a lot uh, different. We're going to have a different, um, another member. Let me see. Oh, so that was uh, Jean Michel. That's Harry, Harold uh, Corlander. And um, I think he was writing in the um, 50s and 60s, I believe. If not, maybe a little earlier. 
And so, um, 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 the his reference to Masunde is what he described was um, there were six, uh, six, six, well, seven men, um, six fighters, and one person who was kind of controlling the uh, controlling the match or controlling the the um, the presentation. It was more of like a presentation, and it was uh, very reminiscent of kind of the uh, the uh, Central African style military reviews uh, that that um, were documented uh, during the during uh, earlier periods but so he said that uh, six men um, armed with sticks they held their sticks like sabers like swords and that uh, when the guy that was controlling the controlling he had a whistle he blew the whistle and they they formed into two lines facing each other and what the men would do is like they would exchange uh, between attack and defense, so one person would attack, the other person would defend, and they would go on uh, like this until he blew the whistle again. And then what they would do is they would jump up, both would jump in the air, and they would turn. And then one person, when they landed, one person was in the role of the attacker, the other person was in the role of, def of the defender. They jumped, and they would do that again, uh, kind of back and forth. And that's like you know one of the one of those early descriptions of my son. And I think he was. I think he documented that, like I said, in the 50s, 50s or 60s. Um, could even be in the 70s, too. Um, uh, Harold Corlander is a pretty easy guy to find. He's uh, done a lot of traveling. He's written a lot of books, um, like on African epics, uh, quite a few on Haitian folk tales, and just, a, just a, quite a few things. Um, he's actually, um, there was a big scandal with Alex Haley's roots because apparently, um, it appeared that he may have plagiarized his ideas from Corlander's uh, *The African*. He has a, he's written a really good book, one of my favorite books called *Master of the Forge*. And what it is is like it's a West African odyssey um, based off of uh, 19th century heroic epics of like Segu and um, and uh, so, so so Bambara and Fulani um, epics. So he created this like this uh, this kind of this odyssey, uh, which is a, it was a really really one of my favorite books. Um, and he also has written like um, documented the uh, the epic the epics of Segu, um, which is uh, the the Bam the Bambara uh, Bamana kingdom in West Africa uh, during the 19th century. So uh, yeah yeah he's a good person to check out some of his anthropology or ethnographic studies work. So. Uh, yeah, check that out. Um, as far as like the um, the uh, the European fencing styles, it's it, what I, what I've learned is especially like with a, with Colombian machete is that sometimes um, some of those sources are kind of overstressed in order to gain a certain amount of um, uh, what is the word uh, currency. Um, at least like, you know, uh, at least like, at least from the Colombian perspective, um, the, some of the Spanish aspects were overplayed in order to kind of give it that, give it, make it seem more than what it was or see, make it seem more coming from that, that, um, that influence. Um, uh, TJ, uh, Professor Desh Obi did a, uh, a talk on, um, on Colombian machete and he mentioned how, uh, they kind of overplayed some of the Spanish influence, you know, by adding certain artifacts into what they were doing that seemed like Spanish fencing. But um, I'm pretty sure, like in Colombia, the, there are like a varying degrees of like of um, of influence, you know, um, with the system. And usually for us, mostly like we see um, we see the hands behind the, the hand behind the back. And some of like the postures, and it's like, oh wow, yeah, that, it definitely reminds us of of, of um, sport fencing or whatever else. So we automatically kind of go there. But um, I think that some of the things with the timing and the movements, they're you know very different, different in certain ways than than saber fencing, or at least like French saber fencing um, that I've seen. But I'm not an expert, so I don't know 100. percent So, uh, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then again, Kalinda seems to be like that widespread uh, mother term that you find like uh, uh, 
uh, not just like in Trinidad and, and Haiti, but you find it in, in Cuba. And you even find it like in Louisiana, which is really crazy, uh, really insane, uh, really cool, though, that, you know, the term Kalinda is like such a, a widespread, um, uh, widespread term. And that style of stick fighting um, seems to be like the mother system in a way. So, anyways, I um, hope you guys had a great time. Um, sorry for my tech issues and stuff. Usually, I'm um, juggling several several balls at the same time, and you know, coming into this. But I I had I had fun getting to kind of play around with this because it's not it's not as well known as um, as a tear machete. Um, and I like uh, some of its, I like its, its, um, its uh, kinetic guards, so to speak. And I like some of the, like, the, the, the more broken rhythm strikes and broken rhythm footwork and stuff that they do. Um, and Tiramachet in the Avril system is a totally different beast where um, you're doing a lot of like uh, cross-stepping and closing uh binding and stuff uh with your um your partner slash opponent's uh arm um which is a little different than what we're doing today and it's kind of why i wanted to do that so i think maybe in a few weeks or a month or so we we'll probably have our other council member do a, a piece on tier machete so uh that will be happening hopefully in the near future anyways guys thank y'all for being here i'm gonna go ahead and sign out and get get on with the rest of my day uh, I remember tomorrow, if you're interested in uh, doing a um, doing a follow-up class, we'll be meeting at 10 a.m. for some capoeira and then 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time for some more stick and machete. All right, you guys take care. Thank you.